All right, am I getting, yes, I'm getting some recording action going on down here. Doing the scatter plot using our studio. So our, our data, we need to get in. If it, if it was from a CSV file, we'd, we know how to import that. Uh, um, but it's in a library uh, called CAR. And it's a, it's a data called state. So we can just use the data command to load states and packages car. So let's, let's, um, let's um, get the names of states. Control, uh, control, enter. So we've got region, population. SAT verbal, SAT math, percent, dollars, and pay. Okay. So what we wanted to do was to run a plot, scatter plot. And in base R, we just say plot. <laughs> and then hit um, our parentheses, and we want uh, pay to predict percent ENT. So click enter. Oh, I forgot to attach my package. Attach states. See? And you can start typing in something and then hit tab and it'll autofill it. It helps me to avoid uh, type typos. Now I should be able to plot it. Okay, here's my plot. I can zoom out, take a look at it. Pretty basic. Um, I wanted to put a linear. I wanted to put a AB line on that. AB line percentage, and you do that by using a linear model of. percent tilde, which means as predicted by pay. Hit my enter line, and there's my nice little um, uh, uh, plot right over there. Now, it, 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 if I wanted to um, Put all that fancy stuff in there. Um, you know, I would just start typing in the things that I need. Main equals main title equals scatter plot demo. Boom, scatter plot demo, and I can put my AB line in there. Um, what else? What might be one on there? X label. X lab equals um, teacher pay in thousands of dollars. There's teacher pay in thousands of dollars, comma. Um, Y label equals, uh, I can use percent sign if I want to, percent of high school students graduating high school students, graduating high school students who take SAT. Okay, I didn't have my line selected. Okay, that looks okay. If if I want the scatter plot demo of the relationship backslash in between teacher. A and S 
SATs. Click enter. You can see it, it makes a nice little thing over here uh, where my title doesn't just run off the edges, because it will. Uh, my AB line, I can dress that up a little bit. Uh, color equals, let's make a red line here. Make a nice little red AB, AB line. So uh, I got it. I can just go ahead and say percent. I got enough room. Um, and uh, is there anything else that I want to add to this? Um, I could put that. Uh, legend in there, legend, uh, put that over here on bottom right, okay, I want my legend to be placed in the bottom right. my legend to be placed in the bottom right with um, I wanted to say what it is it's a linear model of percent by a, I want it to reflect the same line type, so I didn't specify it, so it's line type equals 1, color equals red, and click run. And oops, I should I should have put, got, did put, didn't take my box off. So uh, B T Y equals N for none. So let me rerun rerun this whole thing. And there we go. We can see it now. I can save this just by exporting. Export as an image and it'll export to my working directory. Um, if you're working with a lot of image files, you may just want to uh, do PNG and then uh, the name of the file. And in this case, um, we'll just call it demo plot.png. And it'll put that in my um, my uh, working directory. Um, let's put it in a, a place called images in my working directory. So um, demo images slash uh, or is it backslash and it's forward slash and then we have to put device off and hopefully, if I don't do this wrong, I can go into my files and um, oh, something didn't something didn't work right. I just call it demo plot. No device one. And it shows up down here in my working directory as a file. So there it is. I can now insert that in a Word file. I can put it on the web. So um, before I before I do anything else, I'm done with state, so I want to detach it. And that's it. I'm done.